Now standing by for spacecraft separation. And we have good indication of separation of the OFT capsule. And we are less than a minute away from the orbital insertion burn. Flight controllers here are uh, not working any technical issues. The OMAC engines are uh, getting, getting positioned to uh, make that 40 second firing that will circularize Starliner's orbit and get it into a position to continue its chase to the International Space Station, which is itself currently coming up on Central America. And controllers are maneuvering Starliner into the into the right attitude for this uh, for this orbital insertion burn. And the orbital insertion burn has been delayed. Controllers are watching the attitude of Starliner as it positions itself and looking at the uh, at the spacecraft in flight. And Flight Director Richard Jones reports that we are in a stable orbit. Starliner is in a stable orbit. And Richard Jones reports that his flight controllers are turning the Starliner spacecraft to the uh, what we call a tail sun position. That means the solar rays will be pointing to the sun to recharge the uh, batteries on Starliner. And of course, to uh, power the systems on the spacecraft. Starliner is in a stable orbit. And we do have an off nominal insertion reported. We have spacecraft control. Guidance and control teams are assessing their next maneuvers. Spacecraft batteries are good and the spacecraft is in a stable orbit. View here inside Starliner Mission Control, where flight controllers are working through what the next steps for Starliner should be. You can see Flight Director Richard Jones standing up there beside the uh, behind the Flight Director console, talking with with his team members here in the room. And once again, we have had an um, off nominal insertion. We have spacecraft control guidance and control teams here at Starliner Mission Control are assessing options, assessing all their options, and uh, contemplating the next maneuvers for the spacecraft. Starliner has good batteries and is in a stable orbit. And the flight control team also reporting that Starliner did uh, finish moving into that uh, tail sun position that will allow its batteries to recharge. And once again, if you are just joining us, Starliner lifted off from Cape Canaveral, Florida this morning at 6.36 a.m. Central Time to begin its chase of the International Space Station. We have since experienced a uh, off nominal insertion and the spacecraft has essentially um, is, is in a stable um, position. It's, it's fully powered. Mission Control here in Houston is assessing all the options. We're going to uh, step away from the broadcast and you can uh, stay updated on everything that is taking place with the Starliner mission on Boeing.com. We'll also be getting you more information here on NASA TV as the morning progresses. Thanks so much for joining us today. We're going to sign off for now, but uh, we'll have more information for you soon.